guys! Today we're going to be making this awesome cityscape, but first I want to share with you some art from another student. This student used the 3D Perspective Letters lesson, so great job Gabriel on making this awesome piece of art all about art. Today's project is going to involve lots of different values. When we're talking about art and we use the word value, we're talking about the different lights and darks of something, how light or how dark something is. We're going to be using those values dark to light to give it the impression that the landscape is going off into the distance. For this project, you can use just a pencil if that's all you have. You can use one colored pencil or multiple colored pencils that are just shades of one color. So I have all my different blues here. If you have paint at home, you can even use paint to do this project. You'll just have to mix different shades of the same color using black and white. Our first step is going to be to draw our layers of our landscape or our cityscape across the page. You can use a colored pencil or a regular pencil for this. I'm going to be using my regular pencil, so let's get started. On your paper, you're going to create lines that go all the way across your page that show the silhouette of your entire landscape. You don't want to make them too big, otherwise you're just going to have a tiny little strip at the top. You want them to be even layers across. Your landscape design can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. You can even add things like buildings, trees, animals, plants, whatever you can think of. For my design, I was inspired by our recent art field trip to New York City, so I'm going to be creating a city skyline for mine. Now I'm going to just start with some simple rectangular sort of blocky shapes. The base of the shapes are going to go lower, closer towards the bottom of my paper, but you can make them as tall as you want as long as you're not taking up your entire page with them. Once you finish your first silhouette line of your landscape across, you're going to start your second layer with a second line that's starting a little bit higher up on your page. Now I'm doing a lot of the same kind of blocky shapes, but you might notice that they're a little bit smaller, a little skinnier, a little more simple. That's going to continue as I go on through each layer. I'm going to make it a little bit simpler each time, to give it the impression that those layers are farther off in the distance than the ones that are all the way in the front. So this one's gonna be even simpler with even less things sticking out on it. Now you can keep going with this as much as you want. I'm gonna stop here and just add a little moon, maybe a couple of stars, but you can theoretically add as many silhouette lines as you want to your landscape. It really just depends on how many different values you have that you can use to fill those in. Now we're going to begin adding our different values. You can use just a pencil if that's all you have to make different values, or you can use a colored pencil or several colored pencils that are different shades of the same color like I have here. If you aren't sure how to make different values with your pencil or with one colored pencil, you can get a little piece of scrap paper and press really, really hard down with your pencil and scribble back and forth and move your hand over to the side. And as you do, slowly release the pressure and you'll see it getting lighter and lighter. This will help you practice figuring out how hard you need to press to get all these different values. You can also use your scrap paper to do little swatches of each colored pencil you have to make sure that you're using them in the right order. That way you don't accidentally put one that's too light below something that's darker. So those look great in that order, so I'm happy with that. And I will use those four colored pencils to start filling in my design. You're going to use your darkest value on the very first silhouette layer. So for mine, I'm going to be using black and I'm going to be coloring in this entire whole layer with black. You can also add little details like windows or architectural designs. You don't want to put too much because you don't want to overpower the overall landscape, but you can add in those little details here and there if you want just to give it a little bit of an extra pop. Remember when you're coloring with colored pencils or with a regular pencil to use circular or oval motions with your pencil to make sure that it blends well together. You may also need a pencil sharpener for this part because you're going to be using a lot of that colored pencil. You can make it as textured or as smooth as you want. I'm feeling a little stressed out by all of this COVID-19 stuff, so I'm being a little aggressive with my pencil and making it super scribbly to get out some of that anxiety.
take a break every once in a while to say hi to your friends. Say hi to Mr. Perry, you guys. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the midst of shooting the video? Yes. <laughs> Once you've filled in your first layer with your darkest value, you're going to get your second darkest, for me that's this dark blue, and fill in the next layer, that second line of silhouettes. For our third silhouette line here, you guessed it, we're going to use our third value, for me that's this bright blue color, to fill it in. If things aren't looking defined enough for you, you can take your colored pencils or your pencil and go back in and smooth out any areas where there's lots of texture showing. That'll help really emphasize the difference between those different silhouette lines. And then what you're gonna do is get your last value, the lightest one, to fill in your very top layer. I'm going to go back in and add in some more colored pencil to kind of smooth out the texture a little bit and really define the different edges that are there so that you can really see that distinct skyline. And there you have it, your beautiful landscape using lots of different values. You can make this as smooth and distinct as you want or you can leave it with some nice texture in it like I did. It's totally up to you, however you want to design it, whatever color you want to use, it's all your choice. Don't forget to share your artwork with me at my email address on the screen and maybe I'll feature it in my next video. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I love you, I miss you, and I hope you have a great day.